All right, so let's talk about anatomical body directions. With all anatomical body directions, you need to base your directionalities on anatomical position. So anatomical position is shown here with this man standing uh, with the palms facing forward and outstretched like that. Um, and this is the only position in which you base your directions off of. So if he's in any other direction, if he has his hand above his head or his leg outstretched or uh, bent, you'd always refer back to anatomical position, which is this, before you uh, base any directionalities. So let's go over some directionalities real quick. Let's start off with superior. So superior basically just means above or towards the head. And so if we had a reference object such as the neck, and we said, what is superior to the neck? You could say, oh, the head or the nose or the eyes or something that is above that neck. Now, the next directionality that we'll refer to is inferior. So inferior means the exact opposite of superior. It means to be below the reference object. So if the reference object again was the neck, the things that would be inferior to that would be something such as the sternum or the pectorals or the abdomen. Next let's talk about proximal. So proximal means to be close to the reference object. If our reference object again was the neck, and we wanted to know what was proximal to it, we'd find something that was close by. So the shoulders are something that's proximal to that neck. And also, again, the sternum is proximal to it. The head is proximal to it. Uh, and then we have the exact opposite of proximal, which is distal. So with distal, we're looking for something that is far away from the reference object. And again, let's pick the neck as a reference object and let's find something that's distal. So no longer will it be the things that are close by like the shoulders. We're looking at things more like the elbows or the hands. Next, let's look at superficial versus deep. So this is a little hard to show on a 2D image, but uh, superficial just means that it is basically the top layer or it is going towards the top layer. And deep means to be um, going uh, underneath layers. So uh, the superficial most part of the body would be the epidermis, so your skin. And then deep to that would be things like muscle tissue and bones and visceral organs and things like that. Now let's look at lateral versus medial. Lateral means to go away from the midline of the body. So if we drew a midline here, lateral would mean to go away from that midline. So to go to the side of the body almost. So it's the same thing with looking at the back. The midline we could say is the spine, so if we were to go lateral, we'd be going to the side of the body. Now if we wanted to go medial, we would go the exact opposite direction, away from the side of the body towards the midline of the body. So if we were talking about something that was medial to another reference object, such as the ears, say we picked the ears as a reference object. Uh, what is medial to those ears? And that would be the eyes or eyebrows or the nose. Now let's look at anterior versus posterior. Anterior means to go towards the front of the body and posterior means to go towards the back of the body. So this view on the left would be the anterior view of anatomical position and on the right here would be the posterior view of anatomical position. Ventral and dorsal are very similar to anterior and posterior but they're used in uh, specific areas such as the brain and during like fetal development um, but 
they are quite synonymous with anterior and posterior. Ventral means to go towards the front midline of the body, and dorsal means to go towards the back or the dorsum of the body. Last of all, we have cephalic and caudal. These two are basically synonymous with superior and inferior. Uh, you can use them interchangeably, but cephalic and caudal usually mean right next to the reference object. So what I mean by that is if we were to pick the, the neck again, for instance, and we said, what is cephalic to the neck? We pick something that is the head of that reference object. So that just happens to be the head of the body. So if we were talking about caudal, caudal usually means the, the direct tail of the reference object. So if we were to reference the direct tail of the reference object, we could say it's most likely the clavicles. So last of all, let's talk about something that may trip you up in the future. So if, for instance, we had a person who was injured lying on the ground and they had an arm stretched out like this, sorry, my artistic skill is very uh, poor, I guess. Um, but um, if their arm was stretched out like this and the question asked in anatomical directional terms, where is the hand in reference to the head? Now, if you said the hand was superior to the head, you would be wrong. Because when we are talking about anatomical body directions, we're always talking about uh, in reference to anatomical position. So you kind of have to move things around in your mind and put it back in anatomical position before you assign a body direction to it.